Okay, as I got older, smarter, the old people used to tell me, keep using your hands, keep using your hands. Don't let arthritis come in. Don't let harm injure your hands or something. See, like now I can still, you know, flexible. Use your hands. That's what they're made for. As I get older, and we became king and queen in 1997, we traveled all of British Columbia, exposing uh, the king and queen of BC. It was quite a journey, quite an excitement experience. And after the, all the excitement was gone, we became like, I became like, don't sit around, don't do nothing, get out there and do something. So I started gathering the roots. We did sweat house with young people. We did uh, gathering. We did uh, fasting and a lot of stuff myself. I was doing uh, dancing regalias for dances, we even do moccasins, and that's for the people. And then I turned around and started doing uh, baskets, pine needle baskets, we start doing that. And then I started working on, people kept asking me about stick game outfits. So I worked on that and gave them out. We're so involved, like I believe, be active and show the people what you can do. We try to be models to the young people. We do a lot of this invitation talks in schools. We have a gathering at our own community hall, the elders gathering and stuff. And we are doing hunting for the community. And before that, years before that, I do a lot of trapping, fishing, Mostly things we do is for the community, like keep them interested in what we're doing. Like I keep telling young people, what I'm doing, you can do it. What grandma does, you girls can do it. There's no such thing as I can't. Get out there and enjoy life. Get your mind off these things and do what you want to do. And that's working now. Even we have language classes, storytelling, and all that stuff, and that helps a lot to the community. They need it. <laughs>